So the Kemri Wellcome Trust program has been in existence since 1989. It's a partnership between Kemri, Wellcome and Oxford. And uh, our work is focused on healthcare and medical research. Uh, we're based in Khalifi on the Kenyan coast, in Nairobi, and in Mbale, which is in eastern Uganda. Uh, our work covers a range of, of different areas of science. Uh, I can talk about five main scientific themes. So vaccination is one of our main themes. It's an area that's very important to human health, probably second only to clean water and sanitation. And we work uh, on vaccines from the very earliest stages of development where we do studies that are designed to identify the immune responses that people make that we want to reproduce by vaccines and so therefore feed into vaccine design. Uh, through testing new vaccines, all the way through to uh, doing surveillance on established vaccines to uh, determine how they should be best used and uh, to calculate their cost effectiveness. So examples of vaccines that we've worked on uh, include Ebola vaccines, where we were one of the sites that uh, was able to very quickly do a phase one uh, study to show the immune response and safety of the vaccine before it was used in West Africa. And an example of one of the uh, later phase trials we've done is on yellow fever vaccine, where we're interested in defining more precisely the best dose to be, to be used to make the most of the available vaccine stock. One of our largest areas is clinical research. And in the clinical research we do, we're generally looking for um, research findings that will have an impact on policy. So for instance, uh, oxygen provision to hospitals in, um, across Africa is a major challenge to health systems. And uh, we're doing trials to define more precisely the benefits of oxygen, the children should ha that should have oxygen, and the ways in which oxygen should be delivered. And those are findings which could be immediately implemented in hospitals once we've, once we've got them. We work in uh, population health, and in the population health area, uh, we're generally taking on international uh, type problems, so international um, data sets where we're asking questions about the extent of malaria transmission across Africa or the provision of um, healthcare facilities across Africa and the average time an individual would have to travel in order to get uh, emergency care. And then the final area is in health systems. So health systems are the, um, are the entities that have to deliver healthcare and there is a science behind how they best deliver healthcare. Uh, and this covers issues ranging from how healthcare is paid for and how insurance works through to issues regarding uh, the degree of autonomy in individual um, health facilities. Uh, and that, um, that area is, uh, is also particularly important for, for policy. So um, those, those scientific themes are all delivered based on um, specific platforms which are supported by the Wellcome Core Award. And uh, the, the platforms, so there's, there's a sort of the office space and the basic uh, finance facilities and uh, all, of, all of those things which are required in order to deliver research. Uh, we have an extensive community engagement uh, platform, which actually includes, in, not just community engagement, it includes engagement with publics, and it also includes now engagement with, uh, with policy makers and other bodies such as, uh, such as universities, where we want to have an impact and, um, and where we want to strengthen our, our ties. And then we have a major investment in a laboratory which uh, contains facilities 
for all of the um, cellular and molecular um, immunological work and sequencing work that one would expect to be able to do in, um, in a high income setting um, laboratory uh, so that work can proceed quite rapidly here in Kenya without relying on shipping samples overseas and also so that work can be done in a way that builds capacity here and offers uh, individuals an opportunity to develop their own scientific careers based in Kenya. The reason all of this matters is both immediate and long term. So the immediate reason why uh, these areas of research matter are all sort of specific linked to those individual areas. So for instance, it's pretty obvious why an Ebola vaccine mattered. Uh, and without centers like this one, there wouldn't have been a uh, sort of regulatory testing pathway to get that vaccine into the field. And some of the stuff we do matters not so immediately, but it will matter in 10 or 15 years time, or maybe even longer sometimes. So for instance, knowing uh, what components a malaria parasite releases into the circulation to have an impact on the infected person won't immediately help anyone, but it does allow people to start thinking about how you would design drugs or even vaccines to interrupt those mechanisms to then prevent malaria causing disease. So there are lots of individual reasons why we could give why individual research projects matter. The center as a whole matters, not just because of the sum of those parts, but because it is developing something sustainable and developing a next generation of scientists who will uh, be part of Kenyan scientific capacity. And that's something that will um, endure uh, much more long term. And that matters because um, Kenya needs to develop its own scientific agenda and needs to develop capacity to be in control of that and to steer that.